What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys another video and today's video unfortunately is not one that I really wanted to make. Um, don't worry, there's nothing wrong with me, channel's not going anywhere, anything like that. Um, but something happened with the Pink Slips video that I recorded last night and I'm really frustrated about it. So I actually played a game last night against uh, a guy who was chosen as the person to play me in the video and his name was Ryan Kwitinski. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, R. Kwitinski on Twitter, Q-U-I-T-I-N-S-K-Y. And uh, his PS4 name is Winning Blowfish. B-L-O-W-F-I-5-H. So the five instead of the S. And he is a really good player. Um, his team is, I think, like 95 overall. Mine's like 93 overall. It was a close uh, comparison. His team's a little bit better overall, but, you know, that's not why, uh, you know, that's not any difference that caused a win or a loss for either of us in that game. I think the teams were relatively close. Neither of us has a super overpowered team or a super crappy team, so it was real close. But anyways, um, he played really well in our game, and he actually came out with a win. Um, he beat me 27-14. to 14. And the gameplay was very, very close. Like I said, uh, I actually had the ball with about a minute and a half left in the game. And I threw just one of the ugliest interceptions that I ever have. And uh, that allowed him to score one more time before halftime. So I actually was down 14 to 20 with about a minute and a half left. I was driving down the field and Vernon Davis was wide open on the left side. I threw what should have been an easy completion, but for some reason, uh, instead of like just throwing the ball normally, Walter Payton decided that he was going to drop back like a foot, and he threw it off his back foot for some reason, and it went like six yards down the field, right to Clay Matthews for an interception, and that really sucked. But um, you know, the the actual game, like I said, was very close. It was a good game. I wish you guys could watch it, but for some reason, my Elgato had some weird error happen to it during the gameplay recording, and I went in to edit the video this morning. And for some reason, it actually showed that the gameplay file was 8 gigabytes roughly. It was like 7.98 gigabytes. But the video length was only 4 seconds. So I don't know what happened. Um, but I tried to bring it into Adobe Premiere. It was 4 seconds long. I tried to upload it, or I tried to load it with uh, QuickTime. That didn't work. I tried to op uh, open it with a different video software. Didn't work tried sending it on YouTube or uploading it to YouTube and it was still only four seconds long but it was uploading as an eight gigabyte file so I don't know what is happening I've contacted Elgato's customer support and they basically ran me through a whole bunch of uh, things that would be common potential issues but they said they've never heard of anything like that happening they have no idea why there would be an eight gigabyte file that's only four seconds long so clearly it has the video somewhere in there but for some reason it won't display and there's really nothing I can do about that unfortunately so what you guys are actually watching right now is a replay of the game um, not the game that we actually played yesterday but a game that we played today because he was kind enough to play me again and allow me to get some video between the two of us playing and it actually ended up being kind of a similar type of game to what happened in yesterday's game. So it kind of works out in, you know, in that favor. But, um, you know, it really sucks. Because, trust me guys, I wanted to bring you this gameplay more than you wanted it, I think. Because when you lose a 160,000 coin card, you want to at least be able to show people that it happened. And you don't want people to think, oh, you know, he refuses to upload that video because he lost. And that's not the case at all. Trust me, I have no problem uploading losses to my channel. I've uploaded uh, a couple losses to my channel already. Now, granted, I typically win. Um, my overall record is significantly in the positive, thankfully. But I have no problem uploading losses. And uh, as frustrating as that game was for me because I lost, I'm fine with uploading it. Um, I think it's fun. I think it keeps people interested when you occasionally lose games. And it sucks because you guys aren't going to get to see that video. And I really, really did want to bring it to you. So I'm, like I said, I, I wish that I could, but unfortunately it's out of my hands at this point. The people from Elgato have no idea what happened. Um, I've tried contacting a few different people. Ryan915, uh, bless his soul, 
tried to help me and uh, get that video file fixed, but we just couldn't fix it. So, uh, like I said, you guys are watching the gameplay. You, you will notice that he actually has that Sean Taylor card on his team now. So, yeah, he did get it, and he will verify that via Twitter, I'm sure, if you guys ask him. Um, he's a good dude. Definitely play him if you guys uh, want to challenge because he is a good player. I'm sure that as, as you watch the gameplay footage here, you guys are going to be thinking to yourselves, I could beat both these guys, no problem. But trust me, it's much easier to watch the video than it is to actually play in the game, make the mistakes, and um, you know, throw your, yourself off when you make those mistakes. So anyway, um, like I said, I'm still looking forward to putting together more pink slips. It's possible that I might be transitioning from a Mac to a PC because sometimes it just happens where Macs just aren't the best thing for doing certain things on the computer. So I typically use a MacBook Pro for my 9 to 5 job, uh, which is graphic design. And I've been using this computer mostly with no problems until now. And I, you know, I can't guarantee that it was the Mac. It could have been the Elgato itself. Um, it could have been user error. It probably was user error. It was probably something stupid that I did, and I have no idea what, what would it, it would be. But um, either way, it's possible I might be transitioning to a PC just for doing videos and that kind of stuff. But um, if I do transition to a PC, it will give me a little bit of an advantage as well because I can actually run XSplit on PC, whereas on Mac, it doesn't work for Mac. So as of right now, I can't really stream. So it's possible I might be getting into the streaming world if I do go over to a, a PC. I don't know if I'm going to use the current PC that I have or if I'm going to get a new PC. I'll have to talk to the wife about that. Um, but, you know, that's kind of what I'm thinking at this point, transitioning over to a PC for video. Hopefully it'll cause less problems. Um, if, I do have any pro if I do have any issues then, uh, people like Ryan and, um, and the tech support at Elgato will be much more familiar with the PC platform than they are with my current Mac platform. So... Anyway, like I said, we're not going anywhere with the pink slip videos. I will be back with another pink slip video uh, next week. I don't know exactly what card we're going to be putting up on the line yet, but you guys will know about it in the video probably on Tuesday. So I hope you guys will be looking forward to that. Like I said, I, I, I'm so pissed off right now that my video that you're watching right now is not the game that we played last night, but I'm going to try and get it fixed. I hope you guys still like the gameplay either way. If you did, please press the like button. If you could comment, I would greatly appreciate it. If you have any suggestions for me, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer those for you guys as well. Um, and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well because that's how we grow this thing. That's how I'm going to continue to be able to put out great content for you guys. If I'm getting some sort of financial backing um, by you guys, which you know unfortunately is part of the deal, I have to be able to make some sort of money so that I can still continue to give you guys cool cards with pink slips and with wager matches and that kind of stuff, giveaways. So please subscribe to my channel, watch the videos. If you can watch it without ad blocker, I would greatly appreciate that as well. I know it's a pain in the butt, but I do it for my friends as well. So I hope you guys will do that for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.